then I need a uh, plate of poop. Plate of poop. Where's the plate of poop? Plate of poop. Is this where you are? Wait. I want some mac and cheese too. Very important. Are you? What are we transmuting this time? I'll go with this. And pause chat. There it is. All done. Stop. We have every shard. We'd also have 100% items if I bought the coins again. All right, it's time. Platinum time has arrived. It's clobbering time. Oh, there's a chest there? I heard a sound. And I was like, what is that sound? I was focused on platinum. Is this chest for getting every shard, or is this chest for doing, like, all the transmuting? Oh, yeah, the glasses. Which, for some reason, don't count as an item. Because I already got the item thing. Are they so good? I mean, they have like good intelligence, but wait, what did I have before? Dragon ability? Yes. Oh, infinite MP. that where I'm going. Would have been really nice when I fought the final boss the first time, though. Because that was my big problem. <laughs> Kept running out of MP. What's really cool, though, is you can swap to them. You can use all your MP and then swap to them when you're out of MP. So yeah, that's pretty nuts. You can get so strong in this game, but there's really no reason to get that strong. It's kind of wild. But it's cool. Alright, here we go. This I might actually want the glasses for, just because he has so much health. The Holy Ray might be better for this too. Oh, 
also giant axe. Yeah, that fight that fight took me like 25 minutes the first time to beat. It also took me like a million tries. A million tries and like 25 minutes. And now it's just like boom, done. And then Johannes just slowly walks in. Alright, so the final trophy is just for watching the credits. So we gotta figure out how to... ...speed up the credits without skipping them. My guess is you use, like, the analog stick or something. Yeah, for sure. I, I think that getting OP is just kind of a bonus at the end. But, uh... Okay, it's not the analog sticks. Uh, ah, triangle. Found it. So, uh, yeah, I think the game was like really well balanced until you beat it, and then you just get super strong just for fun. I do wish that the the super boss was a bit harder though because I didn't feel like I was like that strong. I mastered like three of the passive shards and I had like one of the best weapons but not the best weapon and I had like okay armor and I was able to destroy him. I kind of wish the super boss was like you had to really super get super strong to beat him. But, he was still fun. Wow, we already got through all the backers. I'm shocked. There it is. Plat get. Trophies in the chat. We did it. What a great platinum. That was really fun. I enjoyed every ounce of this. Um... Yeah, apparently those credits take like 80 minutes normally. But if you speed through it, it's quick. Alright, let's go over to the trophy quest. Alright, here we go. Number 153. Oop. Number 153, Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, PS4. This was added by Heroes. Thank you, Heroes. We did do the full run on stream. Um... Difficulty is probably going to be quite low. Uh, most of the trophies are just collectibles. There is a super boss, but you can get so ridiculously powerful in this game by grinding that, like, you can eventually get strong enough to where he's easy, if you choose to. And the game itself was pretty easy, with the exception of the final boss, but again, you can just get super strong if you want by grinding. Um... It wasn't, like, the easiest collecting. You do have to, like, look up a guide, and there's a couple, like, secret things to get. So I, I wouldn't give it, like, a super low rating, but, like, maybe, like, a three. So it's definitely up there with, with the easier trophies. Um, fun. Definitely up there. Nothing, like, super crazy, but just kind of collectibles and some other fun side trophies. Um, so I'd probably give it, like, a... Seven. Let me look. Let me look at the list again real quick. Yeah, the farming like ninety percent of this platinum trophy is farming, but the farming is fun. So you know, it's it's a fun trophy to get, but like it's your it's your standard Metroidvania affair. Complete the map. Complete the item list. Complete the demon list. Every shard. Get a bunch of money, reach high level, slay a bunch of demons, and like a couple goofy easter egg stuff. So overall pretty good. The only one that I like truly have a complaint about is the item, get every item. Just because you have to get like all the weak weapons, which is a bit of a pain. Like you have to get 
every sword and every whip and every and that's just like kind of annoying. Um, but I get why it's every item. Like it would be it would be too complicated to say get only the good items, you know. But making every single weak sword and every single weak whip was a bit of a drag. But other than that, it was fine. And, you know, grinding that stuff was still entertaining, so. Um, and the, the jump scare enemy was annoying because I had to kill him like nine times to get the shard. But that was the only real, like, annoying part of this. Other than that, it was all fun. So, yeah, I think seven is pretty fair. Could could maybe even be 7.5. Um, what's interesting is like normally I would say I wish there was a speedrun trophy or some kind of like trophy to require me to play through again. But honestly, I'm kind of glad there wasn't. <laughs> I, I didn't really want to play through again after doing all the grinding on my on my main file. They could have done do another playthrough with another character, but I'm kind of glad they didn't. I'm kind of glad it's just one playthrough, get super strong, and that's it. But they could have done like a beat the game. I, I think beating the game in a low amount of time could have been really cool because of the way this game works and how you can like get certain shards to do certain parts faster and um, like that could have been cool. Yeah, also. Mo were all of the extra characters added later? I thought Zangetsu was part of the main game. If he was added later, then yeah. I guess they couldn't have made it part of the Platinum then. Um, and I think... Does it have... No, it doesn't. It doesn't have DLC trophies. I was wondering if maybe it had DLC trophies for those other playthroughs. Uh, but yeah, still. It, it, was, it was really fun. Um... Did a glitch and no, and also another nice thing about this game is that it was pretty short-ish. Um, I don't know if my main file is going to be very accurate because of deaths. But we can look at my main time. It was 30 hours almost on the dot. My PlayStation time it says 24. That cannot be accurate. I'll say like 30 ish. Whoever told me a long time ago that the PlayStation hours aren't accurate, I'm beginning to believe you because it's like the third game that I've check the PlayStation hours and they've been like really off. Um, other times they seem like they're pretty accurate, but a lot of times they feel really off. Let's do 30 to 32 or something just because like I know for a fact I had a lot of deaths that made it a bit longer, especially on the final boss. Uh, and that's that. That's our 153rd Platinum Trophy. Uh, Bloodstained is a really fun game. I highly recommend it. You can beat the game in under 20 hours. Um, so it's, you know, a quick, quick but fun game. If you like Metroidvanias, if you like Symphony of the Night, definitely got to play it. It's really fun. It has some side games as well that I might try in the future. Um, but yeah, really good game. Pretty good platinum. That's our 153rd platinum trophy.